Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are going to pair a pair of original Ray-Ban aviators against a pair of American Optical General sunglasses. So first off, of course, both these sunglasses have aviator style lenses, and they're going to be teardrop shaped lenses. And the price of the Ray-Ban aviators is going to run you around $150 on Amazon, but I picked up this pair of American Optical Generals for only $60 directly from Amazon, which is a really good deal. So there's quite a big price difference between these two sunglasses, with the Ray-Bans being almost $100 more. So today we're going to be comparing the two. So first we'll try on the original Ray-Ban aviators and we'll see how these sunglasses look on face and we're also going to talk about the dimensions. They're going to have 58 millimeter lenses and a 14 millimeter bridge and this is what they're going to look like on face. Now we'll pop on the American Optical General sunglasses and these sunglasses actually share the exact same dimensions. So they're going to have 58 millimeter lenses and a 14 millimeter bridge but as you guys can see even though they have the exact same dimensions the actual lens style is going to be quite different from these two. So again this is the American Optical general sunglasses and that will pop on the original Ray-Ban aviators. So as you guys can see they are quite different as far as lens style even though they both have a teardrop style. I would say that the American Optical Generals are more rounded uh, where the, the Ray-Ban aviators are going to be more I guess elongated. So as far as look on face goes both these sunglasses are definitely going to be quite different but they're actually going to be very similar at the same time because they are an aviator style. As far as weight goes the original Ray-Ban aviators are going to weigh around 32 grams on my scale and then the American Optical Generals are going to weigh quite a bit more coming in at 41 grams so there's going to be almost a 10 gram difference between both these sunglasses so the American Optical Generals are going to weigh almost 33% more than the Ray-Ban aviators so that's quite a big difference and as far as comfort when wearing these for a long period of time the Ray-Bans are going to be more comfortable because they are lighter but they're still going to be relatively comfortable and there's not again a huge difference between both these sunglasses both these sunglasses are going to have all glass lenses and the lens quality between both these sunglasses are going to be almost identical. I almost like the American Opticals a little bit better, but it's really hard to tell the difference. And of course, both these are going to come with 100% UVA and UVB protection. And you can also pick up both these sunglasses with polarized lenses for a couple extra dollars. As far as hinges go on the original Ray-Ban Aviator, the hinges are very nice and light. They're not going to be stiff at all. They're just going to feel very nice and premium. And here on the American Optical, the hinges are actually going to be, again, all metal, but they're actually going to feel very substantial. They're very sturdy and I feel like I could run these over with a car and they'd still be strong. Where the Ray-Ban aviators feel a little bit more delicate and a little bit more Italian, where these American optical sunglasses are going to be a little bit stronger. The Ray-Ban aviators are going to be made in Italy. And they're going to sit here in the inner right temple of the sunglasses and the American optical general sunglasses are going to be made in USA. Both these sunglasses are going to have fully adjustable nose rests and both of them feel really good on the nose. And through the nose rest, the Ray-Ban sunglasses are going to say RB and then through the nose rest here on the American optical, they're going to say AO for authentication purposes. They're also both going to have these really nice ear rests, which are going to be very comfortable. And again, they're going to be comfortable on the Ray-Bans and also very comfortable here on the American Optical Sunglasses. I wouldn't say that one is better than the other. As far as protection from sun and coverage, here are the Ray-Ban aviators. And they're going to offer very good coverage from the sun. There's not going to be a big gap to sunlight in unprotected here up top. And then here on the sides, they're going to kind of wrap around the face pretty decently with their teardrop shaped lenses. And again, they're going to offer very good side coverage uh, Ray-Ban aviators probably offer some of the best coverage out of any pair of sunglasses. Now it's not quite the same story with the American Optical General sunglasses. We're going to pop these on and here they actually do have pretty good coverage up top. There's going to be a little bit of gap to let sunlight in up top and then here on the side there's going to be a much bigger gap here on the side of the American Optical General sunglasses. So they're not going to be quite as practical as the Ray-Ban aviators. As far as look goes I really like the Ray-Ban aviators. Of course they're going to give you that classic aviator style sunglasses that have been around forever and then here on the American Optical General sunglasses they're just going to be a little bit different. Now that doesn't mean that they look bad I think they actually look more unique than the Ray-Ban aviators because the Ray-Ban aviators are very overdone almost everybody's wearing them so these American Optical sunglasses definitely are different but I think it's really hard to go wrong with the classic Ray-Ban aviator style but of course it's going to be up to your personal preference of which one you like but I'm definitely interested to know which pair do you guys think looks best on my face the American Optical Generals or the Ray-Ban aviators I will leave a poll in the top corner of the video where you guys can vote on it. I'm definitely interested to know. Overall, both these sunglasses are really fantastic. And for the price, I would probably say pick up the American Opticals. They're so much cheaper and the quality is basically just as good as the Ray-Bans. But of course, you're not going to get that Ray-Ban name if you pick up a pair of American Optical sunglasses. And you're also not going to get that traditional Ray-Ban aviator styling if that's what you're looking for. But the frame material on both these sunglasses is really good. Of course, they have all glass lenses. And they're just going to be very, very similar to each other. 
And personally, I really am a fan of American Optical. They have an amazing heritage, and they're just overall a really good set of glass company. But that's all I have for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up down below, and of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and then you'll be notified every single time I put a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.